What's up, horror fans? Uh, YouTube, Final 6190 back um, with a horror movie update. Um, these are just some I've collected over the last couple months and what I picked up on Black Friday. So, of course, first one here is uh, Crystal Lake Memories. Blu-ray DVD. And everyone knows about this set. Um, Ultimate Book is now the definitive documentary. I've only gotten up to... I think part three, so I got a long way to go on this. Just haven't had time to sit back and watch it. Let's open it up. That's your first Blu-ray. Disc two Blu-ray. And of course you got your DVDs. Disc two, and then Ordered this directly from the website, and I was able to pick up a bonus DVD, a bonus disc. So, like I said, uh, got a long way to go. I'm only on part three. So, all right. This one I picked up from Walmart. <clears throat> all Hallows Eve. Come out and play. I picked this up. Um. Halloween night, I was able to find this and watched it. Pretty good movie, uh, kind of like an anthology, a couple of different stories, all centered, uh, and then like um, centered around this crazy clown. Send in the clown from hell. Yeah, really like it. Uh, the movie is about um, <clears throat> this lady right here is a uh, babysitting on Halloween night, babysitting two kids, and uh, let's see. they get done trick or treating, and they're looking through their they're the kids right there. They're looking through their bag, and uh, the, the little boy dumps out his candy and in, in his bag is a VHS tape. So uh, they beg her to see what's on it. Um, they put it on and it's a movie, um, horror movie. And uh, it's a woman, I think she's like studying or something. And this one little room and then she looks up and uh, there's a clown sitting there. And He's real creepy or whatever, so she gets up to move and the clown injects her with something that knocks her out. And when she wakes up, she's like in a abandoned tunnel under the city or something like that with two other girls. And uh, from there, it gets even crazier. It has to do with witchcraft, the devil, this, that, whatever. Um, pretty good uh, one. Uh, the second one is about um, a woman... And her husband who just moved into a house and bought some property so they're way out in the middle of nowhere and then of course uh some aliens show up and you know invade the house and this that and the third one is a story about the clown himself um woman on the road and stops for gas runs into the clown all hell ensues and uh <clears throat> you know uh in between you know, the, uh, the woman, you know, sends the kids to bed, tells them they can't be watching it, even though she continues to watch it when they go to sleep. And the things start happening around the house. She starts hearing things, starts looking around. And then at the very end, um, when she turns it off, uh, the TV turns back on. And it's this particular clown walking towards her, getting closer and closer and closer until it's too late. And basically he comes, you know, comes to get her and the kids, so... It's a really good movie. Um, I liked it. Uh, really gory. So get, if you get a chance, check this one out. That is All Hallows Eve. So. All right. Now, these I picked up from uh, the movie exchange. American Horror Story Asylum complete second season so 
So yeah, um, so far this has been my favorite uh, season of the show. Um, you know, the show is notorious for having all kinds of subplots running through it. Um, just did this disc one, disc two, disc three, and your disc four. But yeah, I like this one with the um, serial killer bloody face running around. My favorite uh, season so far. So got this for I think it was twenty at the movie exchange. I also picked this up, uh, Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy, Brad Pitt, World War Z. So I saw this at the theater and it wasn't that bad. The only complaint I had was that um. There was really no blood in the film. And uh, one thing I kept asking was, how can you have a zombie film and not have blood in it? A lot of blood in it. So, includes a new unrated cut with intense footage not shown at theaters. There you see some of the special features and stuff. But yeah, um, the unrated cut is better than the theatrical um, simply because it shows... Uh, more blood, more gore, so. There you got your blue. And there's your DVD. So yeah, if you've seen it and you don't like it, I would say give the un unrated cut a chance, so. All right. These are pickups from Fry's. The Conjuring, Blu-ray, DVD, digital. Uh, everybody's shown this. Everybody knows about this movie. Great, you know. One of the scariest movies ever made. They see the special features. Uh, one of the, you know, a great haunted house type movie. Uh, let's see. There's your slipcase off, same artwork, front and back. Open it up. There's your blue. Okay, there it is. And there's your DVD. Not much to say about it. Everyone's pretty much seen that movie by now. Here's one that I really enjoyed. Uh, good seeing him back. Chucky. Curse of Chucky. Unrated. This is a Blu-ray DVD digital pack. Um, Chucky's back and better than ever. Delightfully deadly. This is a pretty good movie. Um, you know, it was uh, straight to DVD. Um, but the thing about it is it didn't look cheaply made um didn't feel cheaply made either it had like a you know a real theatrical release feel to it which was cool but uh i just read actually that they've uh green lighted uh another one so that's good there's your blue a little insert for halloween horror nights 2013 curse of chucky menacing new scare zone Universal Studios Hollywood remove that got your DVD Factory Goodness, Blu-ray DVD Combo Pack, John Carpenter Presents Body Bags, Zip Yourself In Tight. Now I remember seeing this on Showtime back I believe it was in the 90's. You see your special features and I loved it and I always wondered why um, because I, I could have sworn I'd read that they were going to try to make it into like a, 
a series like Tales from the Crypt. Uh, and I always wonder why it never happened. Uh, but if you watch the special features, Carpenter kind of reveals why. Um, love that artwork. Uh, yeah, uh, this one, funnily enough, didn't come with the reversible artwork for me. So I don't know what that's about, but there you see your Blu-ray. Your DVD. Let's take this out. You can see they got a couple of little stills from the movie back there. Same there. But no reversible artwork, so. But this is a good one. Um, basically, it's um the car the character Carpenter plays um, it's kind of like the Crypt Keeper, you know, bookending each little episode. Uh, first one is about this lady here on her first day on the job, working at a um gas station with a auto shop right you know next to it, and a killer on a serial killer on the loose, and second story. Uh, it's about a guy who's losing his hair and you know willing to do anything to to get a full head of hair back. So that's more of a comedic story. It's pretty good. And then the third one has to do with um, good old Luke Skywalker, who's in this film. Uh, I think he's a minor league player, a uh, baseball player, fixing to be called up to the majors because he's like hitting the ball really well. And then he gets into an accident and loses his eye. And has to get you know an eye transplant and uh the eye he gets is from i believe a serial killer and he starts seeing everything the serial killer did and so it's pretty good wish they would have made more of them but all right and then one of my favorites john carpenter's prince of darkness great artwork Before man walked the earth, it slept for centuries. It is evil, it is real, it is awakening. This is another great John Carpenter film that doesn't get too much respect, I think. Um, they see the late, great Donald Pleasance. Special features. Basically a story about a Here's the reverse of artwork, guys. But a story about um, a group within the Catholic Church that has been keeping a secret. And when the, the last one of this group dies, Donald Pleasance is called in and finds out. And he calls in a group of uh, signed, uh, I guess the guy's a friend of his or something, I don't know. But he calls in uh, this guy to come, he's a scientist at the local university. And he calls in like his best students to come and check this out. And it ends up being like, I believe it's the son of the devil. Um, in this uh, little container here, trying to get out, um, possess the living to bring uh, his father, the devil himself, back into the world. Uh, has to do a lot with metaphysics and stuff like that. It's pretty good. And... Uh, there's a cool little picture right there from the movie where everyone who's there uh, doing work, uh, trying to figure out what this thing is, the students uh, from the university dream and see this and they just think it's a dream but it's actually a transmission from the future trying to show them what's about to happen and that they have to stop it. So it's pretty cool. A lot of out there ideas that I don't think we're ever touched on before in a horror movie. So, all right. Now, these are all pickups from Best Buy from uh, Black Friday. Silence of the Lambs just upgraded the Blu-ray. Uh, great movie. 
you know, Anthony Hopkins, Hannibal Lecter, what can you say? Ultimate High Definition Experience. There's all your special features. I haven't had a chance to look at any of these yet, but I'll get to it soon. And Here's your disc. You know what? I don't think I showed you guys the disc for Prince of Darkness. But there you go. All right. All right. Black Friday pickups, Best Buy. Just a DVD upgrade. I mean, I'm sorry, a Blu-ray upgrade. Brandon Lee, The Crow. A stunning work of visual style. This is a great movie. If anyone, you know, people haven't seen it, check it out. Um, Brandon Lee is awesome. It just sucks that um, his, you know, defining role was also his last role. You know. They see some special features. But yeah. If all you've ever seen is the crappy sequels, track this one down. You know, it's not hard to find. Like I said, I got it at Best Buy for like $3. There's a disc. All right. One more pickup. And this was also in the $3 bin. There it is, Blu-ray digital copy. Robert Rodriguez presents Predators. This is a pretty good movie. Um, I thought the idea was pretty clever. You know, the Predators taking the you know, the worst killers from all over Earth, putting them on uh, their little hunting planet and going after them. So it was pretty good. You see. Exclusive prequel motion comic, explore the Predator universe. Then you got all your special features. So pretty good. Alright. Your case. Everything the same as the slipcover. And there's your Blu-ray. There's a digital copy. And then you also get this little insert for um, mirrors too. So. Okay. Now these next pickups are Black Friday pickups from Fry's. And the first, this was, uh, I believe when this first came out, it was selling for like $60 around that area. I was able to get this for 20 bucks at Fry's. The Nightmare on Elm Street collection, all seven original Nightmare films. So, it's Mr. Kruger. Check out the back. Gives you all your movies and special features that are included. Okay, you get a bonus disc. Let's check it out. All right. Pretty much the same. That's the slip cover. Different, you know, font and stuff on the back, but pretty much the same information. And I'll show it inside real quick. It's your first disc with a new with a Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. There's your second disc with Freddy's Revenge Part 2, Dream Warriors Part 3. There's four and five. Dream Master, the Dream Child. And then you got six and seven, which are Freddy's Dead, and Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Then there's your bonus disc. 
Pretty simple set, not much to it. Um, I haven't watched any of them yet. Hope to get around and check out the Blu-ray quality on it pretty soon. And then what we got? Another Scream Factory. Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Life Force. Uh, really like this film. I remember seeing it quite a bit when I was younger. Um, Toby Hooper film. Basically about like space vampires. Um, she's the queen. Uh, she comes to Earth. And at least she walks around for pretty much the entire movie nude. Um, but uh, they don't just, they don't suck blood. They suck your life force. So. There's your special features. Haven't watched anything on this yet. Haven't had a chance to. Uh, the theatrical cut and longer director approved cut. So. Let's check it out. There's your original artwork. In the blink of an eye, the terror begins. From the director of Poltergeist. There's your backside. Special features. Open it up. I really like the artwork they used. On the discs as well. Pretty cool. That's life for us. Let's keep it going with Maniac Cop 2. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack from Blue Underground. You have the right to remain silent forever. And this is probably my favorite of all the Maniac Cop films. Love them all, but uh, this is my favorite. You see your extras. Haven't got around to watching this either, but I will very soon. Same artwork as on the slipcase. Same as the slipcase on the back as well. There's your DVD. There's your Blu-ray. Only thing I didn't like about uh, part two was um, the fact that they killed off Bruce Campbell so early on and so easily in the film after everything he went through in the first one. But, you know, he wanted to introduce some new characters and stuff. So, but uh, it's a great film. Um, this is, like I said, probably my favorite with number one right behind it and then part three being the last of them. So... Definitely recommend this to anybody. This is a great movie. And then the last pickup for Black Friday. Maniac Cop 3. Badge of Silence. Blue, from Blue Underground. It's also the Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Unrated version. So... Sorry about that, guys. It's kind of embossed, so you kind of have the outline of the Maniac Cop over the bag. It's pretty cool. There's the bag. There's your special features. Check out the disc. Same as a slipcase, front and back. There's your blue, and there's your DVD. You know, this is my least favorite of the, of the films, but it's still a pretty fun film. Um, basically, the maniac cop looking for a bride, so pretty good stuff. And uh, that'll pretty much do it um, for my horror movie pickups. Uh, got a poster coming uh, in the mail uh, along with a uh, couple other things that I'll probably make a video for. So uh, stay tuned, guys, and uh, Fallon 6190 out. Later.